Hey everybody, today I want to answer a commonly asked question with regards to exercise on a carnivore or a ketogenic diet, especially, um, well, all kinds of exercise really, it doesn't really matter. All kinds of exercise is definitely done better after the adaptation period on a keto or a carnivore diet. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail now. So the first thing that you need to know is that keto adaptation takes time. And yes, in the first two weeks, you might feel, for some people in the first week of quitting carbs, they might feel an increased clarity and better mood and brain fog goes away like it did with me. But for exercise, it might actually lag a little bit behind all the other adaptations that happen. So for exercise specifically, it seems that it takes three months, really, and probably even longer to really get that full adaptation and so that your output is just as good as it was before you quit the carbs. So according to Jeff Volick and Stephen Finney, two pioneering doctors who did a bunch of research and continue to do a bunch of research on ketogenic diet. They say that keto adaptation takes at least a month. This is a general, general, again, not, not specific to exercise. So keto adaptation takes at least a month, but likely a longer time. So with regards to athletic performance, when you first cut out carbs from your diet, your athletic performance will drop by the second week on the diet. And it won't go back up again to baseline until three months following the start of the diet. So be ready for that. If you are an athlete, don't do the switch in season. It's best to do it out of season and give yourself time. So at the three month mark, your level of output and performance should go back up to what it was before you did the keto switch. Your ability to do vigorous and intense exercise will come back without the need for any carbohydrates after several months, so after three months, but it could be a little bit longer if you want to get even better adaptation. As a matter of fact, some studies have shown that even up to two years on a ketogenic diet, you still see some beneficial adaptations happening on a ketogenic diet, which is wild and exciting. A recent study by Dr. Jeff Bullock in 2016 has shown that glycogen stores in athletes who had followed the keto diet for at least six months had come back up similarly to carbohydrate dependent athletes. So athletes who've been following the ketogenic diet for at least six months, some of them even longer, when they studied them compared to their carbohydrate dependent peers, they both had the same level of glycogen stores in their muscles. And it seems that the way that they utilize their glycogen and the way that they repleted their glycogen was the same. But on a ketogenic diet, you're repleting the glycogen source from gluconeogenesis, whereby you create your own glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, as opposed to the carbohydrate-dependent people, athletes, who are replenishing their glycogen stores from the carbohydrates that they're eating. Another reason why it takes time is because of mitochondrial density. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. They convert the food you eat into ATP. The more ATP, the more mitochondria you have, and the healthier your mitochondria, the more energy you can create for yourself. And it literally affects every aspect of your health. And it's huge for longevity and living longer and, and healthier lives. So mitochondrial health and, and density is a big topic and and it's, a, it's something I'm super passionate about. So you really want to pay attention to that. So to increase mitochondrial density from a ketogenic diet, it could take five to 10 weeks according to the same researchers that I mentioned earlier. So that's another reason why those things take time. So if you're just doing the switch to a keto or a carnivore diet, yes, you'll see massive benefits in two weeks, even more on the one month mark, but really it's like three months to really not experience any cravings, to have better exercise performance. And it doesn't stop at three months. You keep adapting better and better and better as time goes on. So that's really exciting and, and really encouraging for us to stick with this way of eating. 
Alrighty, so this is the Aqua True Reverse, Reverse Osmosis um, water filter that I use. I have a code for that. It, since it's the holidays, I just want to remind you that I have codes for all those things. Always check them in the description box of my YouTube video if you're ever in the market for that. And then the Carnivore Calorie Bible, it's really good to know how many calories you're eating. This idea like, oh, calories don't matter whatsoever. Mm, we, you know, we can debate that. It's important at the very least to be aware of how many calories you're eating. And this is my Instagram and this is my website, drsarahzaldivar.com for coaching packages. Everything also is linked in the description box below. And these are the references. Check them out. And I hope that this was interesting and educational. If you like this kind of content, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next.